All right, here we go. Another day, another project on this, uh, on the Porsche here today. So what we're gonna do now that we've done a lot of the other tune-up stuff is we're gonna get down in here and we are gonna go after that differential right there. So we're gonna take the top one out, the bottom one out. You can see those are big hex. Those are 17 millimeter hex from what I understand. So I had to go buy a new tool and uh, we're gonna get in here and drain that thing out and put something new in it. Because based on all the other fluids I've seen, that probably has not been changed for decades, if ever. All right, to get this uh, done, got our new set of uh, hex keys there. Um, big ones all the way up to 19 mil. Um, but we're gonna put this uh, royal purple in there Got our half inch ratchet and we'll pull the 17 millimeter off of that set of uh, hexes right there and we'll get this thing going. So step one, once you get under here, is uh, go ahead and go after that top one first. Start working on backing that one out so that you, uh, when you do the bottom one, it'll drain out because the air goes on the top. So we uh, I busted that loose. I was able to do it with just the ratchet, but uh, I did have to uh, put a little bit of oomph on it. I've seen other people have to use breaker bars to get them open, but uh, anyway, we got it loose. Uh, we'll back that one all the way out and then go down to the bottom and bust that one loose. We got a drain pan right here, so we'll be all set. So I was a little surprised, actually. I took that top one out and we already got some, uh, some oil coming out. And to be honest, uh, for gear oil, it doesn't look horrible. At least it's not all black and all that, but. All right, we got these out. The one on the right is the uh, top one. The one on the left is the bottom one. I mean, there's definitely no big chunks or any like major damage. And uh, looks all right. So we're just gonna put the new stuff back in, but you can see that that is, uh, that's black. Even when, uh, when I do this top one up here, so it's not even the sludge, it's just the, the fluid. You can see it's not as bad, but it was looking kind of black in the pan down there. So not the worst, but not the best. So glad we're going to go ahead and change this. Okay. So finished draining. Uh, you can see it's a little, uh, little blackish looking dripping out of the bottom there. So we'll get some new, uh, new oil in here using that Royal purple, uh, 7590. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the bottom plug back in after I wipe that just a little bit. I'm not going to try to clean all that tan stuff off yet because I don't want to get it inside the, the transfer case. But we'll wipe that stuff down too before we uh, get done down here. At least some of it because they sprayed it everywhere. And uh, we'll get this thing filled back up. Okay, here's my contraption. This is what we used on the BMW before. Um, but basically you squeeze the bottle that goes up in there. Uh, the problem is you can't get everything out of the bottle, so we'll do the best we can. If it's not quite enough, then uh, I don't know, we'll have to go get another bottle or something because the pump that I have does not fit down inside of this thing, so I can't do that. But we'll figure out how to get as much in there as we can. All right, everybody. We're all done now. Uh, we're putting that in. So it took three of these um, 7590, uh, one was royal purple. Um, there's the contraption. Basically, you uh, just squeeze the bottle and it squeezes it in there for you. Uh, word of warning if you're using this kind of thing, uh, which I got, got my rise, I think. But you can twist this yellow part to close this down. And uh, I was struggling for a little bit to squeeze, thinking I lost some of my hand strength. But uh, really what it was is that head twisted and was mostly shut. So I was fighting that thing instead of just pushing the oil through the tube. But anyway, got all that done, tightened everything back down. So we're all done with that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and crank up the car and uh, probably take it for a quick test drive around the block so we can test out the uh, all the stuff that I did uh, up here under the engine, uh, the automatic transmission, all that kind of stuff. So we'll go ahead and get the uh, get her down off the jacks, uh, get her going, run around the block. All right, everybody, we're, uh, we're out here driving it around. You can see, uh, don't really have much temperature yet. Got good oil pressure, charge on the battery, uh, alternator's a little low, but anyway, that comes
comes up as soon as you give it some RPM. So we're gonna go ahead and drive it around the block here, test everything out, see how the transmission's doing. It's kind of holding in uh, first gear a little bit there. Hopefully it just needs a little time to work itself out. But anyway, we'll drive it around and see what it does. Okay, driving around now. Um, seems like it's getting better. It's uh, shifting a little bit better. I think it just needed uh, a lap or two around the block and uh, get the fluid good and moving through there, get warm. We'll check the levels when we get back. Uh, other than that, I mean, it feels pretty good. Obviously, transmission, I mean, the uh, suspension's got its issues, but the car feels pretty good. It's driving issues here as far as uh, just working but transmission shifting at least through the first couple three gears um, anyway we'll say we're done with all this uh, transmission diff and everything else so please subscribe and come back and uh, check out what we're gonna do next um, bunch of suspension things like that um, you never know what's gonna be next whether it's the truck Porsche or uh, the BMW do have some really good news about the truck though so that one you're gonna want to come back for all right anyway see you guys next time